Okay, so uh, it was a great session with the mat. Now we have a second uh, session uh, uh, of the Rudranshu. Uh, he is the analytics manager at the Goldstone Technology Limited. He's talking about the data. So in India, uh, data is known as a new oil. So he will talk about the data pipeline to dashboard and how uh, we can utilize the data to predict the revenue and have the analytics. Yeah. Welcome, Rudranshu. Thank you very much for joining us today. If you have any question uh, uh, from the audience, please feel free to put the question for the Rudranshu on the chat board. And uh, yeah, stage is all yours. Thank you so much, Shreya. Thanks for the introduction. Hi, hello everyone. Good afternoon. Uh, I hope all of you are joining us from the comforts of your home. And given the current situation, I, I truly hope that all of you are keeping safe. Uh, I'm Rudranshu Prairaj, like Shreya mentioned, and I manage the analytics segment at Goldstone Technologies Limited. Uh, my topic for today is data pipelines to dashboard, and we'll be briefly looking at why having a holistic approach is truly central to uh, to the times that we live in and how is it important that uh, to for your for you to realize the return on investment but before we dive into the topic i would uh, like to set the uh, background a little bit uh, talk about what we are as an organization uh, gtl essentially is in the space of data and analytics we help our customers uh, through their journey in bi and analytics space uh, we blend data, design, engineering together uh, to help our customers achieve the right results. We've been part of hundreds of data strategies till date, uh, from right from leading customers in the space of manufacturing, telecom, retail, uh, to a kaleidoscope of small and medium businesses across India. And the journey thus far with our customers has been truly rich and rewarding. But when I look back, uh, I think some of the strategies that we are most proud of are really the ones where we had a very deep engagement with business. We had a very clear business use case outline. And most importantly, uh, the data strategy was in place even before the first shiny dashboard got built. <laughs> and I know uh, for the audience today, I think it will be an obvious statement. Uh, but I, I, when I say this, I am truly saying this because the, I, I can remember more customers getting this so wrong. So why is that happening? Why, why are people failing at it? And that's what one of the reasons we thought we will call this out and have a more detailed discussion around this through our session. Uh, but our focus at GTL is essentially the value that our customers get from our solution and not just the solution themselves. So moving on. And looking at the spread of services that we have right from analytics to cloud, uh, I think uh, one of the questions that comes to mind is, was it always like this? Uh, and of course not. Uh, back a, de uh, a decade back when we started our journey in helping our customers in the BI and analytics uh, life cycle, uh, I think data, uh, using data to drive business decisions was considered a luxury rather than a business necessity. The general view back then was uh, only organizations with spare cash lying around would really invest into tools like data, uh, which helped build their data and analytics framework. Also, data analytics was considered more of an IT thing. But over the last few years, what we've seen is organizations, both big and small, have heavily come up the maturity curve. And they've started to invest into diagnostics, descriptive analytics, and some of them have started to move towards even pre predictive and prescriptive analytics uh, per se. The dizzying speed at which this is happening, especially in the startup segment and public sector, is truly amazing. And I'm pretty sure you would have come across the statement, uh, raw data to actionable insights and data is the new oil and stuff like that. And I think some of people who are in this domain get to hear this every day practically. But while organizations are investing millions of dollars uh, into their BI and analytics platform, given today's day and age, only 8% of these organizations are able to actually realize value from their investment are, and are able to scale this analytics within their organization. Now, scale is the key word here. So why are 90% of these organizations failing to do so? And it all comes down to having a holistic data vision. Having a data vision and a holistic approach to achieve this vision is truly central. Now, Having the right strategy, processes, and tools in place is also central to the to success that people have in the modern data world. Now, talking about the right way to do things, 
at GTL, we have carefully developed methodologies to ensure that we do not get distracted by shiny toys and we really focus on solving real world business problems. We start out, and in fact, that's, that's the case with pretty much the organizations we work with. We in fact start out by laying a very strong data foundation or a data strategy in place and then start mapping it to the best in class tools. Our full stack that you will look at in the next slide is essentially a careful reflection of what we have learned over a period of time. Now, what is a full stack? Traditionally, a full stack is interchangeably used or, uh, or is, is tangibly related to a web application, web or an application development framework, where synergy of multiple tools come together to solve a business problem. Pretty much this is applicable to the data world as well today, where a single business problem can be beyond the capability of single product for them for it to solve, right? When I say this, I mean, uh, if you pick up a BI tool and want to solve everything right from ingestion of data to transforming your data to visualizing your data, you might be getting it seriously wrong, right? Now, moving towards full stack and MDS is necessary. Now, why is that so? Because you will want to develop solutions that are more robust and scalable. What you see on your screen is essentially that a combination of different products that come together to form a full stack. Now, each of these products serve us. So each of these tools essentially serve a specific functionality in the entire life cycle or entire journey. Now let's look at one of the situations which is central to any organization trying to solve a business problem, and that is the data death trap. Now let me introduce the concept to you. What is a death trap? Essentially in organizations, business executives have questions. Uh, while they're trying to drive strategies within their organization, they will try to want to be as much data driven as possible. These questions need to be asked, answered by middle managers. Middle managers obviously are more business focused and they really want to drive this, but they are not technically capable. So they what they do is they translate this for the more technical audience in the team. And this is where the data death trap adds, essentially kicks in, where you have two different roles that need to come together. First being the business analyst, whose work is to essentially collect requirements and analyze data. While there are database administrators who are supposed to collect data from different sources of information and put them together for the analyst to display. Now, this can be a painful seesaw between both these roles when the requirements are changing or there are new additions or new slices of data that is required. Now let's look at a band, more of a band-aid approach that we spoke about a while back as well, using a single tool to solve the entire analytical or cater to the entire analytical life cycle. Now, what happens is uh, BI tools came in or where uh, their initial statement or selling point were to the managers who had to wait weeks or months to be able to get answers to their data. And BI tool came in with a, uh, with a message saying that, hey, let me help you do that fairly quickly. Middle managers were really happy. I can use a tool that can help me get answers to my questions really quick. That's that's amazing, right? But essentially, it's a giant bandaid on top of your death trap. It never truly is the case. If you ask people from a technical persona, uh, the dirty work still needs to be done. You still have to work to get your data, stitch them together, create that single source of truth to be able to really create that analysis that is required to drive business decisions. And that isn't possible just using a BI tool. So why is that happening? Why are organizations depending on a single tool only? These hangovers generally last from weeks to months to quarters to even years for organizations where organizations still believe that BI tool can help solve all of the problems in the life cycle itself. But let me give you a few cases or few 
a uh, few problem statements where this hangover really starts to end think about uh, a simple question that a manager needs answer to that's what is the average revenue that i have from the email marketing channel right fairly easy now this can take about weeks to months for the business analyst and database team to really get answers to that's that's one situation but let's say the managers come back and say hey uh, not only email channels i would also want to look at some of the other channels that i have uh, marketing channels that i have and this can set the data test trap cycle again in to kick in where this uh, the business analyst as well as the database administrator have to go through that painful cycle of collecting data reengineering their sources getting the right data in place structuring it and then making it available for the analysis that is required right adding more granularity looking as previous years comparison and all of these questions or problem statements slowly start to creep in and the pi hope a hangover ends so what is a true solution to problems like these right how can we cater this uh, or solve these problems uh, when we have what we have in hand and full stack is the way to go what we've seen really work for our customers is a full stack or a data strategy that has full stack of tools to cater to different problem statements in the entire life cycle now i'm just showing you something which is very relatable or very close to what you will experience in your organization as well where you're working with certain business or data requirements uh, you have different sources of information that you need to stitch together what you do is create data pipelines fivetran being one of the tools that helps create these pipelines in a fully managed way uh, stitching those pieces together bringing that data in doing have all the heavy lifting and we will look at what fivetran does essentially in a little bit more detail store it onto a data warehouse essentially which acts as a staging layer for you and then finally visualize that using tableau or any other bi tool that you are using within your organization now this approach essentially helps solve the data test trap because there are different tools that expertise in a certain area or a certain step in the life cycle heavily relying on one particular tool can act as a big point of failure for organizations or enterprises that are trying to build robust solutions and like i said uh, the focus today is on fivetran because what we are doing essentially with fivetran is building a strong foundation or laying a strong foundation for your entire bi and analytical journey tools like snowflake or warehousing tools and visualization tool are some things that are already present in organizations but a pipeline tool like fivetran is essentially what should be the core to begin with now let's look at what fivetran is fivetran essentially is a fully managed data pipeline as a service so what's essentially it's trying to say is you punch in you have different sources of data together fivetran is going to help you connect to these sources with basic configuration steps pull in all of this data and make it ready for your analytics no maintenance or configuration is required in case of fivetran essentially because fivetran is doing all the heavy lifting 200 plus sources so again that's a big plus because as an organizations when you are in the space uh, in, in today's day and age i think uh, the more sources you have at hand the better it is uh, given that in future you would want to use certain sources that are not in your pipeline today an easy set maintenance and setup that's the core because business users really don't want to waste time on heavily coding or fixing up solutions that are not scalable what fivetran does here what what and helps the business analyst uh, pr pretty much take care of the core which is solving the business problem and not focus on how these pipelines are built and whether these pipelines are robust or not what fivetran is doing is with a simple configuration of credentials that you are providing fivetran pulls in all of the historic data that you have in that particular source and that's amazing because you could have Five years or ten years of data sitting in that source system, which you are essentially now connecting through Fivetran. Now, all your complex transformations, as well as heavy lifting in terms of say normalizations, is taken care by Fivetran itself, and that acts as a core because that lets you focus on more important problems, which is to the right hand side of the screen around where do I need to use this data for? Is it for internal reporting, an ad hoc report that has come in, or for different data products that I have in my organization for or for my customers? Whether I need to push it for my data lake, that's where the focus should be, rather than how am I laying the foundation? And foundation is the key. Like I said, I think tying this back to the entire talk that we have, data pipeline to dashboard. Data pipeline is the place that you start off from and lay a strong foundation for the journey ahead.
Now, with that said, I think we're pretty much close to the end of our talk. Uh, Re-emphasizing on what we looked at, I think the idea that we want to drive today is full stack is the way to go. While you're building solutions for your organizations, you would always want it to be as scalable and as robust as possible. With a full stack approach, you're pretty much doing the same. You're empowering your team of business analysts and database administrators to go out there and solve real world data problems and not really focus on the technical bits of how these data foundations need to be laid. Now, essentially eliminating any need of a death, any case of a death trap, you will obviously have to take a step back and look at your data strategy that you have in place right now. Because if you don't fix it now, it's going to be a death trap sooner or later. With that said, I think uh, the key message that I want to uh, drive in this particular end of the uh, end segment of the call is think about long term, think about scaling. And third and the most important is think about being in that 8% of organizations who are able to drive analytics at scale and really drive value from the data that they have. Now, that's the key. If you don't lay a strong foundation and you don't have a strategy in place that could act as a point of failure through the journey that you have, these questions will take longer time to solve. And slowly, this will become a painful activity on a day-to-day -day basis. So why not take a step back, like I said, and really look at the strategy that you have in place. With that said, I think thank you for being a lovely audience today. And I will open up to the Q&A and any questions that come through the way. I'll take, take them up now. Thank you. Thank you very much, Raghuranshu, for sharing the whole information uh, because the analytics and the revenue is the thing that every organization wanted to understand and how they can fetch the value from the data because most of the people Absolutely. have a data but it's really hard to understand how we can fetch the value and how we can utilize to uh, take Absolutely. the business to the next level yeah uh, thank you very much uh, we have a question a uh, very interesting question uh, from the audience uh, so pawan is asking that if you are a non technical decision maker in the medium to small size organization with a non data oriented team providing a traditional solution right so what are the steps that one has to take to understand the data advancement requirements absolutely that's a great question one and i think uh, what what it really needs is a hell lot of brainstorming if you are in that space and what we've seen and like i said uh, in india as well i think that's a common theme where small and medium businesses want to lay that strong foundation I think the core of the problem, and I think you rightly mentioned that out, I think the core that uh, that you need to start off with is to strategize what are those sources of information that you have today. Being a small and medium business, you really can't invest in manpower, and that acts as a deterrent to be able to bring in those required skill set. But what you can really do by laying a strong strategy and breaking the problem statement down, uh, for, for businesses that are just starting off, I think getting the data in and storing it as a single source of truth is the key message that, that, that people want to kind of achieve first. I think the BI and analytics could be a luxury that can come in later. But I think the core of the business will rely on data, right? And you will need all these information points that you are collecting to be in your access as soon as you want to kind of read from them. So having having tools to lay your data pipelines and then storing it into a data warehouse, I think, is the starting point. Uh, this is where you're setting the ground up for larger problems that you will solve maybe a year down the line where you can bring in more complex tools. Like, and I, I named a few of them. In fact, BI space has a lot of competitors today. And you can bring in those tools at any point of time. But if you ask me, you can start off with Excel in the space of BI. But laying the strong foundation using data pipelines and data warehousing is the core that you began with and then grow on from there. OK, OK, great. Uh, so we have another question from Kavaljit Kaur. Uh, so they are asking that, is there any limitation to number of connection which we can build using five trend under one pipeline and loading data into single data warehouse? OK. So let me break that question down. So there is not going to be a limitation in terms of how many connections that you can create with five friends. Essentially, uh, the concepts with these modern tools are to do more with solutions rather than to being very constrained or specific to a specific source. So uh, if, if you are working with four or five of these different source, 
all you need to do is just set up your credentials access that data point or access that data source and pipeline is going to do majority of the heavy lifting in terms of bringing that data onto the warehouse that you have now talking about a uh, larger problem that is bringing in your historical data that's where pipeline has a very unique approach to solving that problem pipeline operates on a monthly active rows so essentially what you're looking at is uh the number of rows that you are changing or refreshing on a monthly basis and that's what five plan is focused more on or that's where your billing lies so there is not going to be any limitations per se in fact uh, with some of the customers what we've seen is uh, they will come back to you with sources which are not even listed in these 200 plus connectors that five plan has and even that is not a limitation for five plan because five plan is able to build connections to these using apis so uh no limitations per se. Uh, I, I'm yet to encounter one, but yeah, uh, depends more on the strategy that you're trying to drive. Okay. Okay. Uh, so uh, the next question is uh, Rudranshu that how ORG can be prepared for a full stick approach for enhancing BI? Like, uh, Sorry, any Shreya, can you repeat that? Yeah, so so I was asking that how ORG can be prepared for a full stick approach for enhancing BI? Any any uh, point of time in the uh, life cycle or a or a problem problem that they may face, and then they should start thinking about that we should focusing on enhancing BI or something. Yeah. So uh, like I said, I think uh, how we have progressed or how we have naturally grown into the space is uh, we generally rely on one single tool, and, and that was the core of what I was trying to drive as well today. We always rely on a band-aid approach. We go in with a tool thinking that, hey, uh, this tool should be able to pretty much address everything and anything that I am uh, that I encounter as a problem in that entire life cycle. And that's not the case. Uh, I think uh, all organizations, what they need to do is to be able to build a robust solution going forward. I think uh, we all need to take a step back. Uh, I know the BI tool investment was made from a certain standpoint, but Realizing the ROI on that investment is only going to happen when you have more stronger foundation laid through your data pipelines, right? Uh, having the right warehouse, having a single source of truth are essential to success of a BI platform in SIG. So yeah, uh, I would say in case you're relying heavily or you are targeting for your BI platform to be a success, I think your dashboards are only as good as the data that it holds, right? That's the key message yeah. that I always have with my customers. So. Uh, why not take a step back, look at that vision of how you are getting these data in. And uh, there are plethora of tools available today in the market. So you don't need to rely on any of the specific tools that in fact came in the session today. It can happen through an altogether a different set of tools that you bring in. But yeah, uh, the core message there is to keep it robust, keep it scalable, because tomorrow you are going to add 50 more sources of information. And how are you going to handle that is a question that everybody needs to ask themselves. Definitely, definitely. Okay. So I think uh, key takeaways uh, from this session is to create the uh, strong foundation, first of all, and Absolutely. then start adding the another steps uh, upon it. Yeah. Okay, yes. Arudranshu, thank you very much uh, for giving us a great session on how we can utilize and create the value from the data. And uh, yeah, it was a great session. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Shreya and API Days for having me. Thank you.